so cold and as you can see behind me we are foraging from one of these gorgeous forest like fairy tale trees so foraging part one <laughs> brand new video I thought I would do a proper intro here because I've woken up a little bit now I've got back it was freezing I was so cold my fingers were nearly falling off so I got back into my cozy dressing gown and I've been watching movies and just getting warm <laughs> really all morning so here we are with a proper intro so this vlog is all about the prepping before Christmas. Do you know what? I don't feel chaotic. I feel quite calm. How are you guys feeling? Are you finished with all your Christmas shopping? Do you feel like you've still got loads to do? Are you overwhelmed? Are you feeling chaotic? Sometimes that is me. But this time, I don't feel so bad, you know. I have been getting through my little list slowly. The list always help me feel a little bit better when it comes to feeling anxious and overwhelmed over this festive season with so much to do but yeah I've still got a few things on my list to get through but I feel calm about it there's plenty of time and do you know what we don't have to get everything on the list it doesn't matter if we don't do some of the things we set out to do it's all about how you feel on Christmas day remember when you get to Christmas day and you're having so much fun with your family and you're laughing and you're eating some lovely food. You never ever think of the anxiousness that you felt on the lead up to Christmas because you didn't get this and you didn't get that and you didn't do this and you didn't do that. It never even occurs to you on the actual day, does it? So like, don't stress about it. So as you saw from the video clips this morning, I did my porridging, porridging? <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in. Do you know what? I should do an outtakes. Honestly, if I did an outtakes at the end of every video, would you want that? Because honestly, the outtakes when I'm editing these videos back and it's quite funny really, but I never include them, obviously, because they're like little bloopers and you don't want to be watching that. Well, so I think anyway, but I thought if I do some little outtakes at the end of every video, that could be quite funny. I find it funny. Would you find it funny? Like, I don't know if you would find it funny. Let me know anyway in the comments. I'm back baffling on baffling <laughs> waffling <laughs> i'm waffling on um what was i trying to say and why is the dog barking oh my god it's getting all chaotic all of a sudden <laughs> so in the week before i do my decorate with me christmas video i start the foraging not the porridging the foraging i can't stop laughing at that i think about this too much now i'm gonna keep giggling it's one of them days i feel tired i feel like it's bedtime already because i've been up so early and outdoors but it's just made me feel like it just it's magical isn't it but for the last few christmases i have been honing in on the nature aspect of christmas trying to bring the outside in in fact i was foraging this morning and this old couple came by and um i felt a little bit embarrassed at first i've got my little scissors out i need some secateurs don't i i had all my bags ready to fill with foliage and this little old couple walked by and at first i felt a little bit embarrassed and i thought what have you been embarrassed for anyway they approached me and she was like are you getting ready for christmas so i was like yeah it's so expensive to buy fresh foliage in the shop like you can go to the florist can't you and they've made you a wreath or a garland or you can actually just buy the the foliage to make it yourself and literally it's free nature gives it you for free so why are we spending like why aren't we just cutting out the middleman and going to get the foliage because i feel like the making of the decor like the wreath making in fact i might do a wreath making class next year because that looks really really fun something to do with my best friend maybe maybe next year we'll do it so anyway i was saying like it's free isn't it like and it costs so much money in the shops and the florists 
and she was like yeah she said I keep forgetting to bring my shears because there's holly and ivy that I'd like to get from like the woods and then the little old man was like it's it looks so much better as well doesn't it and I was like yeah so um I needn't be embarrassed after all God gave us everything we could possibly need on this earth to sustain ourselves as human beings didn't he and when you think about that it's magic and here we are every day worrying about money and credit scores i've got a gingerbread chai latte in fact i've got a gingerbread dirty chai latte i think the last time i posted about these gingerbread chai lattes i didn't realize it was tea and i put coffee in it extra coffee in it anyway we had a barista on the channel have i said this before and she commented in the um in the comments so thank you if you're watching this video she said it's actually called a dirty chai latte if you put coffee in it even though it's tea honestly they're really really good so i don't feel so silly after all mm, that is delicious <laughs> Did I tell you, it's Saturday, it's Saturday. The skies are blue, the frost on the ground. It's just lovely out there. I'm so organized. I've got my duvet cover in the wash as well. So that's gonna be fresh and clean for this evening. Probably finish off the day with a film later on. So like I said, my future self is gonna be thanking me. <laughs> I made myself a little note to mention the audio. So in the shopping videos that you've just seen in the last couple of weeks, some of the videos, Halfway through, for some reason, I've been having technical issues, audio issues in particular, and the audio is out of sync with my uh, voice. It's like we're watching um, a foreign movie, you know, in, but in English and all the the mouths are out of sync. It's quite funny, actually, isn't it? But um, quite annoying, I bet, as well for some of you. But thanks for being so kind about it because it really does help when you're kind about it. Some people will throw a comment in there they don't say hello they don't say you know the video was good but you, your voice was out of sync they just like go in on you and it's like oh hi <laughs> it's just rude isn't it <laughs> well I don't respond to them people I don't respond to them messages block delete move on but I just wanted to say to all my other friends who kindly tell me these things that I really appreciate it honestly I'm not sure if it's happening from export or it's happening on the upload to YouTube I have no idea like i'm not really a, very good at like technology and technical issues but um it's not happened in the last couple of videos and i've been keeping my eye on it so i'll continue to keep my eye on it i just wanted to mention it that i know i'm aware and I, obviously i don't want that to happen i didn't do it on purpose <laughs> honestly some people you have to put a disclaimer about everything if I tried to please everyone and put a disclaimer about every single thing I said, there'd be a one full video just on disclaimers. There'd be no room <laughs> for the video itself. An Amazon package. Now I know what's in here. And by the way, I take note, someone kindly, kindly commented and said, I really love it when you're shopping around and you're talking through the shopping rather than just the music. So I appreciate that. Thank you for being so kind about it. It's just because I'm so busy at the moment. And also, if I'm being really honest with you, like I said, everybody gets offended. And I think it was one of the Primark Shop With Me videos a couple of months ago and we were shopping and I have my opinions because I'm a human being. And sometimes I like to have a laugh as well. It's like a northern dry sense of humour. Well, you're not allowed a bloody sense of humour on, on the internet. Why are you shopping in Primark when you're so judgmental? And I was like, oh, man, I'm not, I'm just having a laugh. Like, and you know, if someone wants to wear them buddies, like that's, that's fine, that's on them. I just don't. Am I still allowed my opinion? Anyway, so it's like it puts you off putting videos out there. And when I watch my favourite vloggers who've been doing this job for so long, you can see why they've got like they have. Like everybody's scared to say anything about anything. It's just like, because the bigger the audience, the more hate they get for some reason. And it's just like, you're not allowed a personality. Well, I'm hoping that you guys come here for my personality and I get it. I'm not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Sometimes I might say something that you really didn't like, but doesn't mean you fall out with your friend over that, would you? 
because some people might not like it when I do a fashion video because they're not coming to my channel for fashion. But I love fashion as well as renovations. They might just be here for the renovations and that's fine. You don't have to click into every video. You know, you don't have to fall out with me over it. You might not agree with one of my opinions. We don't have to fall out about it. Nobody has to get offended. Like, I don't understand, like calm down. Anyway, in that video, I um, showed you guys at the end what I picked up from Waterstones and that was this five year journal. So it's a question and answer, question and answer a day. And it's a five year journal, 365 days in the year. What are the top songs on your recently played list? So there I would write my first answer. Next year, when I get to this day, I'll write it again a year on and so forth for five years. And it becomes a time capsule, this little book. I just love it. I paid $14.99 from it from Waterstones. Well, right at the end of that video, some of you might not have stuck around right until the end. And that, that's all right. But um, someone commented and said, Susie, this, this book that you've paid $14.99 for is like $8.99 in Amazon. And I already realized by the time I got to the end of the video, I checked online to link it for you guys. I found it on Amazon as well. And I popped it in at the end. I, I did try to tell you guys that this is actually on Amazon for eight pounds. I've been back on Amazon. I bought it again and I've bought it again. So I bought it twice off Amazon because I'm gonna give this to my best friend for Christmas as well. Cause I just think it's a great gift idea. So I'll link it down below. What a great gift idea. Every Saturday we do brunch anyway, but in the lead up to Christmas, I might do a festive brunch on a Saturday every single week. And obviously I'll document it on the Vlogmas. Oh, that's what I wanted to tell you guys as well. I will be doing Vlogmas this year, of course, but I'm gonna do what I did last year. There won't be a video every single day because it's quite overwhelming. So I'm gonna do 12 days of Christmas. So I'm gonna do a vlog every other day throughout December, starting on the 1st of December, which will be my Decorate With Me video. So I really, really hope you join me for that because a renovation Christmas it will be in this house. Our first Christmas in this house. My gosh, that's so crazy. I'll also be sharing recipes and outfit inspiration throughout the... the, 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 the. <laughs> I will be, <laughs> try again, I will be um, filming some outfit inspiration throughout December on my Instagram as well as some festive recipes and other little bits and bobs that probably won't make it to YouTube. So make sure you follow me over there. I'd really love to have you on my Instagram. I'm going to go to Jisk this morning, I think, and possibly TK Maxx Home Sense because I've not been in there for quite some time. I'm looking for couple of things on my Christmas list that I'm going to need so we'll do that and also I think this afternoon we'll do some Christmas crafts because I've got that nutcracker do you remember the nutcracker I picked up from B&M bargains well I want to paint the nutcracker and just get everything prepped ready for the decorate with me on the 1st of December so yeah so I've just landed at JISC I've got a few things on my to-do list like prepping for Christmas. I'm looking for some dinner candles specifically because I haven't got any and I need them with what I plan to do with the decorations. Sorry guys, I've got sunglasses on because that winter sun is blinding. <laughs> and then I also would like to pick up, if I can find one, a round mirror. So there's a charity shop over there. I might just have a nip in there as well. But basically I'm at Jisk because I've not been for a while and it's a real underdog in the homeware stores, I think anyway. Like we're always going to B&M, we're always going to home bargains and the same shops all the time. And I think we all forget about Jisk and I think it's really bloody good in there. So I'm gonna take you inside with me. We'll have a little look round, see if they've got anything nice for Christmas anything worth picking up but like I said on my list I've got candles and um a round in particular mirror so let's go and see if we can find it oh treat this morning guys as well when we get home it's Saturday brunch day and I've got some sausages but we're going to make festive sausage sarnies and I'm so excited for them <laughs> so yeah we better hurry up haven't we <laughs> So it's super early and super quiet. Love that for us. Why are these little trees so expensive everywhere? 
and these are not very like full are they oh look at that little marble star candle holder that's really cute also this tray this wooden tray is really nice where's the price so this is 17 pound 50 i love that why are these giving me all the alice in wonderland vibes are they you as well also these are gorgeous oh wow look at them and to say that the awful paper stars are two pound in b&m okay jackpot i've found some candles okay these are flameless and i don't like the stars on them they're pretty but they're not what i'm looking for what are these oh look at these little gold leaf string lights these are really really cute look at them how nice are these it's real wax they're flameless candles and they're only two pound fifty reduced these are so nice okay more of these little string lights these are gorgeous imagine this wrapped throughout the garland on your staircase like it's hidden because they're like leaves i love these six pound for ten these look like they've come from anthropology they're like angel candle holders oh man they're so cute oh wow you guys ceramic baubles ceramic and the two pounds and yet b and are selling them ugly glitter plastic baubles for two pounds just doesn't compare does it jackpot 2.0 we found some dinner candles well hey landed at TK Maxx let's see if we can find a mirror stop it stop it right now <gasps> look at this who thought of this it's genius we're making pigs in blankets toasted tea cakes we've got some wholemeal toasted tea cakes as we call them in the north baps or balm cakes or bread rolls the bread rolls aren't they <laughs> it's really weird why we call them tea cakes cumberland pork sausages i'm going to wrap these sausages in some smoky bacon that's my preferred bacon i like the smoky taste i've also got some deluxe cranberry sauce with ruby port and i'm not going to put these on the sandwich because hubby's not too keen i don't think I'm trying to get him to eat these festive sandwiches and try different recipes. How easy it would be to fall for you. But that, of course, is something I won't do. Because we've agreed between you and me, we're nothing. How silly it would be to put this friendship to an end How crazy that would be, yet here I am Falling in love again. That'll actually be really nice because they haven't seen him with his little jumper on the vlogs Daddy's going to put his jumper on. It's freezing this morning in the house. <laughs> you beautiful boy in your jumper. You are. Oh, you like that jumper, don't you? Yes. So I have a gingerbread dirty chai latte. And I'm going to set myself up while these sausages cook on my computer here. Probably pop some vintage oldies on and do some work. just toasting our tea cakes in the pan I really like to toast the tea cakes in the pan like this for some reason it's just easier
I'm asking you if you like it. Oh, you like it. Oh my God, look at this, you guys. We love it. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna pop my cranberry sauce on and bon appetit. So we're just going to pop these plants in the porch way and try and take care of them over the winter. They can't be outside, can they? And I've left it far too long, to be honest with you. They need a little bit of TLC, as you can see. But do you know what? I'm not worried because look, we've got new leaves, new shoots. So this is Pandora, by the way, and if she's still growing leaves, then it means she's happy. Straight. yeah <laughs> so i just thought i'd show you what i picked up from jisk i got all these candles how many 20 pieces jisk have an outlet and it's sometimes really good i think it's like x display furniture some things are broken or whatever salvageable sometimes so it's worth a look in there anyway well i saw this last time i was in there anyway it's a king my bed is super king but i'm sure that my duvet is a king size and do you know how expensive bedding is especially if you've got like the largest beds like king and super king and obviously it's always much more um but yeah i saw this and i just thought it's so vintage and i will be looking to swap out my bedding in the spring because i'm actually sick of that one now <laughs> and i've only had got the one and i literally have to wash it in one day and get it back on the bed and you know what that's like it's quite problematic so i picked this one up and i thought it's very spring like it's very um earthy and nature inspired with the leaves thought it'd be perfect for spring with a nice like plain bread spread over the top layered and guess how much it were it's like is it 100% cotton oh yeah it's 100% cotton and bedding is really important to me in the quality of bedding and I just love the quality from disc I know I mentioned in another video that my favorite place for bedding is Dunelm it is but I forgot about disc completely like I said it's an underdog we always forget about disc and it's got some really affordable stuff in there so 25 quid I couldn't resist it I couldn't resist it so I will pop that away it will soon be the new year and we will be thinking about things like that so again my future self Okay, we picked up the tree. Now I have vlogged that section of the video for the Christmas decorate with me. So you will see us going to pick up the tree in that video on the 1st of December. But I just wanted to show you that it's still in its little net. I haven't done anything with it. It's being watered and looked after in the bottom here. And we put the skirt on it. I do need a bigger skirt, you guys. So, um... This is my job right now, this afternoon. As you can see, it's like a grey rattan um, tree skirt. I'm going to upcycle my tree skirt because it's grey. This one's from the last house. I've had it for a couple of years. And I'm going to paint it in the farrow and ball slipper satin. So in time for the Christmas decorate with me. I'm not going to include it in that video because that video is already long enough as it is. So this is all the Christmas prep beforehand. Okay, so here is the Nutcracker. I've come down here to show you because the lighting is not great in the other rooms. But um, the spray paint, it dries really quick. Now, I was painting it in the bronze color 
at first. However, it wasn't going on very well and I didn't like the way it looked. And also, <laughs> as you can see, he's now um, not got white furry hat. He's not got white furry cuffs. Everything is very tonal. So basically, I spent all that time trying to craft and paint delicately. I just think as well, it's so much better without a face. I don't like things with faces. So this is so much better to me. I think he looks more expensive now. He looks metallic. He looks bronze, brass colored. And the spray paint went on the boots really well and they look quite textured. So I'm really happy about that. Um, yeah, love it. So I might even buy some more. I need to get rid of this on his hat because, or change it out to like a really nice button. Maybe like a metal vintage button on the on his hat. I'll try and find one. But he is now part of the family and he'll probably come out every single Christmas and he just suits the house so much more now. And plain and simple, I think is best. I might even buy a few more little ones to add to the family. But we need to name him, you guys. I used to think he looked Russian. Now I don't think he looks Russian. Anyway, we need a really quirky name for him. So leave it in the comments what you think he should be named. And here he is in the low lighting as well. So he looks really metallic now. I love that. Right, you lovely lot. I'm ready to sign off for the day. I might just go and get a shower, get my um, bedroom nice and warm and cosy because, like I said, it's very cold in the house. We've got no heating apart from the stove fires, electric stove fires. That's all we've got. So I'm going to get nice and warm out of the shower. I'm going to get my Soho robe back on because it's Soho robe season, if you didn't know. And um, yeah, I'm going to get some yummy food with the hubby tonight and just enjoy probably some films. So I'm signing out for today. The next vlog, I'm not sure whether it will be another cosy winter vlog. I know it's not winter. We're calling them winter because it's bloody freezing. Um, and yeah, I don't know whether it's going to be a renovation vlog or a cosy vlog. Either way, I'll see you in the next one, hopefully.